Hello, you're welcome to solve this math problem, which is x plus y is equal to 100. x times y is equal to 100. To find the values of x and y's from these two systems of equations. Now, in the first step, let's start by letting this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Then, from equation 1, whereas equation 1, it is x plus y is equal to 100 into here we'll make y the subject so we'll take x to the right side so it will be y is equal to 100 this x will take this side so it will be minus x then note this equation in terms of y then from equation 2 whereas equation 2 it is this x y is equal to 100 now into here y we substitute this equation whereas y it is 100 minus x so it will be x times y y we substitute this which is 100 minus x bracket is equal to this 100 then in the next step we'll multiply x times 100 it is 100 x x times negative x is negative x square is equal to this 100. Then in the next step, here we start by this here, negative x square, then plus this 100x. This 100 we take to the left side, so it will be minus 100 is equal to 0. Now, from this equation here, this negative x square will make this positive. So, we will multiply the whole equation times negative 1. So, it will be negative x square times negative 1 is positive x square. Then, positive 100x times negative 1, here it is minus 100x. Then, minus 100 times negative 1 here it is plus 100 is equal to 0 times negative 1 it is 0 then from this equation here this quadratic equation to find the values of x we'll use quadratic formula so from quadratic formula to find the values of x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 a C over 2A. So into here it will be x is equal to negative b is quotient of x which is negative 100 bracket plus or minus square root of b square. It will be this which is minus 100 bracket square then minus 4 times a it is 1 times c is 100 then over 2 times a it is 1 so into here it will be x is equal to negative negative 100 here it is positive 100 plus or minus square root of negative 100 square here it will be positive 1 with here two zeros square it will be four zeros so one two three four then minus four times one hundred here it is minus four hundred then over two times one it is two then into here it will be x is equal to one hundred plus or minus square root of ten thousand minus four hundred it is nine thousand and six hundred then over this two then in the next step it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of here it will be 96 times 100 so here 96 96 times 100 then over this two Sorry. 
then in the next step it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of here it will be 96 times 100 so here 96 times 100 then over this 2 so here it will be x x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of 96 let's find the factors of 96 so as you can be able to find the square root so prime factors of 96 here it is divisible by 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 48 then divide by 2 it is 24 then divide by 2 here it is 12 then divide by 2 it is 6 then divide by 2 it is 3 then divide by 3 it is 1 so here 96 it is how many twos 1 2 3 4 5 so here it is 2 power of 5 times this 3 times this 100 then over this 2 then in the next step it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of here 2 power of 5 to be able to find square root it will, will put it into 2 power of 4 times 2 it is 2 power 5 then times this 3 then times this 100 over this 2 then in the next step it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root we separate now so it will be square root of 2 power 4 times this here square root of 100 times square root of 2 times 3 it is 6 then over this 2 then it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus square root of 2 power of 4 it is 2 power of 2 times square root of 100 it is 10 then times this square root of 6 over 2 then into here it will be x is equal to 100 plus or minus 2 power of 2 it is 4 4 times 10 it is 40 square root of 6 then over 2 so here it will be here we have two solutions so first let's divide by 2 into this part and this part so it will be x is equal to 100 over 2 plus or minus this 40 square root of 6 over this 2. So it will be x is equal to this divided by this is 50 plus or minus this divided by this it is 20 square root of 6. So into here we have two values of x. So the first value of x is equal to when it is positive it will be 50 plus 20 square root of 6 and the second value of x is equal to when it is negative it is 50 minus 20 square root of 6 now into here we got the values of x so let's recall this equation here of y is equal to 100 minus x so as to find y is so from y is equal to 100 minus x so this is x1 so it will be y1 is equal to 100 minus x we substitute this 50 plus 20 square root of 6 bracket so here it will be y1 is equal to 100 we take negative inside so it will be minus 50 here it will be minus 20 square root of 6 so here it will be y1 is equal to this minus this it is 50 minus 20 square root of 6 
so this here we, go, we already get x1 and this is y1 so our first conclusion it will be x1 comma y1 our first solution is equal to x1 it is this here so it's 50 plus 20 square root of 6 comma y1 it is 50 minus 20 square root of 6 bracket then into the second solution here so this is x2 so we'll call this equation so it will be y2 is equal to 100 minus x so it will be 100 minus our x2 it is this here so 50 minus 20 square root of 6 bracket so here it will be y2 is equal to 100 we take negative inside so to be minus 50 here it will be plus 20 square root of 6 so it will be y2 is equal to this minus this is 50 plus 20 square root of 6 so this is x2 this is y2 so our second conclusion second solution is x2 comma y2 is equal to here it will be this we substitute this so 50 minus 20 square root of 6 comma y2 it is 50 plus 20 square root of 6 so this here it is our conclusion we have two values of x comma y from this our problem now let's check this solution if it is correct so to check from our problem which is x plus y is equal to 100 and we have x y is equal to 100 so let's check for this first equation which is x plus y is equal to 100 we'll check by using this our first solution here so it will be this plus this so it will be 50 plus 20 square root of 6 plus y y y it is this here this 50 minus 20 square root of 6 is it equal to this here 100 now here to simplify 20 square root of 6 we'll cancel this minus 20 square root of 6 so it will be 50 plus 50 it is 100 is equal to 100 so left side and right side are equal already check for this first equation now let's check for this second equation of x times y is equal to 100 so here it will be our x our x it is this here times y is this so 50 plus 20 square root of 6 bracket times 50 minus 20 square root of 6 bracket is it equal to 100 now let's multiply 50 times 50 so it will be 50 square then then 50 times minus 20 square root of 6 so here it will be minus positive and negative to be minus 50 times 20 square root of 6 then 20 square root of 6 times 50 so here to be plus 50 times this 20 square root of 6 then here it will be 20 square root of 6 times 20 square root of 6 so it will be minus 20 square root of 6 bracket square is it equal to this 100 now here 50 square it will be 5 square it is 25 0 square it is double zeros then minus 50 times 20 5 times 2 it is 10 0 times 0 is double zeros square root of 6 then plus 5 times 2 it is 
10 0 times 0 here double zeros square root of 6 then minus 20 square it will be 400 times square root of 60 square here it will be 6 is it equal to this 100 now here 1000 square root of 6 minus 1000 square root of 6 is 0 so this and this will cancel so it will be this 2500 then minus 400 times 6 is 24 then double zeros is it equal to 100 now here we'll take this minus this it is 100 is equal to 100 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for this first solution also the second solution is correct because they interchange the values of y and x and here x and y thank you for watching don't forget these tips to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye